Hey, what's up, YTPC? My Big John's coming back at you, baby. Got a little bit of something different for you tonight. Um, I'm going to put together a first impression of two different types of things. Pipe tobacco and bourbon. Um, I'm going to incorporate a tin opening into this video. And uh, a whiskey tasting also. The, of two things that I believe that were, will pair well together bring out the flavor in both and also you'll get my first impression of uh, two different products both aged and uh, both uh, pretty hot in their own means so let's get started on it uh, the whiskey for this evening is going to be the very, very hot and sought after Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This is from batch A119. So each batch is different, has different flavor profiles, different characteristics, also different proofs. Uh, some of the earlier batches, I believe, were sitting at around like 127. A119 is 135.2 proof. So it is a little bit of a hot, spicy whiskey. But from my initial tasting that I had on it, it is a wild wild ride alcohol by volume 67.6 percent uh, barrel by Elijah Craig Heaven Hill uh, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey aged 12 years non chill filtered it's got a beautiful beautiful color to it nice and dark nice and crazy notes on it this is uh, a very structured multifaceted whiskey and what I mean by that is the whiskey itself doesn't have a lot of wild smells to it 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 comes at you in one punch but the punch is nice and sweet with some caramel and some sugar the taste off the first hit is just a rush of cherry spices oak sugar a little bit strong definitely uh, if uh, barrel proof whiskey is not your thing um, this is something that you might want to add a little water to What's crazy is though, this is a very, very thick whiskey. So as you roll it on the glass and you get some good smells to it, it just changes up on you. And I get this like festive Christmas kind of something or another. I don't know if it's baked goods. I don't know if it's... The only way I can describe it is... If you ever lived in a house with like hardwood floors and maybe cedar closets and, and you come home from being gone for a long time and you get that good smell of your home, especially around like Christmas time, maybe some foods cooking in the kitchen or whatnot. That's uh, it's hard to describe, but that's what I'm getting. very warming this will be a very good winter time very good cold winter month whiskey so also pairing with the Elijah Craig small batch barrel proof 
going to be a little bit of some aged HH Old Dark Fired. So I'm going to pop this open. We're going to give it a look. We're going to get a pipe together. I'm going to take some sips of the Elijah Craig. Smoke some of the aged November 2012 HH Dark Fired. And uh, we're going to see how it works together as a pairing. And uh, take this ride together. So give me just a second. I'll be right back. All right, YTPC, so here's the old dark fired. We're gonna get it nice and open here. I'm gonna get some kind of angle here where I don't have to, you know, mess around with the phone and drop you. I'm still working on getting some, <laughs> some kind of uh, stand or something for uh, tin openings. We're, we're working it out. We'll work it out together, YTPC. So anyway. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open, find that little notch. Oh yeah. And we'll take a look. A little discoloration and a little, just a little bit of rust on the outside I think we're gonna be alright though let's take a look at this old dark fire and here I'll get you at a better angle hold on alright so we are back and look at those beautiful 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 slices Oh man, nice and aged, pretty tobacco. Old Dark Fired uh, is a mixture between Burley, Kentucky, and Virginia. So it's got some nice dark sweet nuances I know they steam press it and this just smells amazing some nice slices here so what we're gonna do YTPC is we're gonna get that packed up and we are going to sip a little bit of the Elijah Craig and some of the aged old dark fire see how it pairs up be right back all right, YTPC, well, we're back here. After just a little bit of dry time, it was just a little bit of wet, a little, little bit wet, and wanted to kind of inspect those flakes and make sure that we didn't have any problems, put the magnifying glass on them or whatnot, because definitely any time with a little bit older tobacco, I want to, you know, just make sure that we're not growing anything. And uh, I'm still new to all this, so opening up aged tins of tobacco sometimes, uh, especially if it's got a little rust around the lid, can be a little unnerving. And just want to make sure that uh, compared to some of the other stuff that I know comes from people that I trust that uh, have smoked good in the past. So we've got an A-OK -okay to go. And uh, I've got my Dragon Briars Old Dark Fire Pipe out ready to go. Got me a little Elijah Craig in the Glen Cairn and we're gonna we're gonna see what it's talking about, see what it's working with. Ooh, we mm. Mm, 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 mm. That's one of the prettiest tasting smokes I've ever had in my life. 
those dark, sweet fruit Virginias, man. And Old Dark Fire, man, it always has that kind of sweet and sour tanginess thing going back and forth. That fermented leaf. Sweet. With uh, we got November 2012, about seven years. That's a good smoke. All right, I'm gonna nose this uh, Elijah Craig barrel proof after I've had a couple draws off of the. Still getting that sweet caramel thing going on. Still getting that welcome home festive Christmas thing going on that I was getting earlier. So let's see. That's a match, baby. The warmth from the Elijah Craig gets calmed down a little bit from the pipe tobacco smoke coming in. They complement each other very well. Weaving in and out. giving you a dark chocolate that heat from that barrel proof complements that stewed fruit of those Virginias And that dark fire Kentucky, it just steals the show. Well, I'd say, as far as a pairing, if you want to try something, try that Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. You should be able to find it for probably about 50, 60 bucks. Right now, it's pretty hot. So if you see it, snatch it up. Don't hesitate. Also, don't hesitate to add a little water to it, opens it up, lets it breathe, but just as, as it was intended, it matches very well with the HH Old Dark Fired and the Aged. Try one more thing here. I'm going to infuse a little bit of that old dark fired smoke into Elijah Craig. Let it sit for just a minute here. Let it kind of rest in the glass. I'm going to blow it out. Let's run that oily whiskey around that rim. Kind of melt those together. Uh, Elijah Craig barrel proof infused with aged HH old dark fired flavor 
Elijah Craig, if you watching, forget the cigar malt. Do the pipe tobacco malt. Which, before I get any bad comments, I know it's not quite how that works. But if we're putting smoke into things, might not be a bad uh, combination. Well, YTPC, that's the pairing for the evening. Go out. If you see it, snatch it. Even fresh, that old HH Dark Fired is delicious. And even if you can't find the barrel proof, try the single barrel. I'm sure it'll complement each other to the fullest. Well, till I see you again, YTPC. Peace. And I'm out.